This video will cover the physical inspection and setup of the Vector hydraulic pump. For best bolting results, carefully follow all setup, operations, and safety guidelines. Inspect the pump and all components for any signs of physical wear or damage. Check the power cord, remote control assembly, and remote cord for any signs of damage. Check to ensure the fan's vents are clear to allow proper airflow. Add oil through the fill port until the level reaches the middle of the upper sight glass. 32 grade oil is recommended. Check local conditions to ensure proper grade oil is used. The Vector pump has an automatic filter system that keeps the oil clean. Check the operating instructions for specific intervals for changing the oil. High torque pumps come with standard 15 foot hoses. For hoses longer than 15 feet, contact your local high torque representative. Check the hose rating and always use hoses labeled for 10,000 PSI. Inspect hoses to ensure there are no cuts or worn spots. Never use damaged hoses. Inspect black strain relief caps for damage. Ensure they cover the transition from hose to connectors with no gaps. Examine couplers on the pump and hoses to ensure they are clean and free of debris. Inspect couplers to confirm check ball fittings are in place to prevent pressure leaks should a coupler come loose. Check female couplers to ensure they are equipped with O-rings and that the O-rings are free of damage. Connect and hand tighten the hose couplers to the pump. Avoid using tools to tighten hose connections, as this could damage a coupling. If the connectors encounter threading resistance, re-clean and try threading again. Hoses should be connected male to female and female to male. Connect the hoses to the hydraulic wrenches the same way. Check that couplers are fully seated with no gaps between the female collar and the male shoulder face. If daisy chaining hoses, use only an odd number of hoses to preserve coupler orientation. Verify that the available AC power supply matches the pump requirements. An extension cord, if used, should be at least 12 gauge and 50 feet maximum length. Before applying power to the pump, place the hydraulic wrenches on the floor. Turn the pump on by pushing down on the toggle switch. The LED light on the control box will pulse green and the remote control screen will display initialization. Once initialization is complete, the pump will beep and the screen will display system ready. You are now ready to begin your job setup.